From the beginning of the interesting, dramatic, somewhat exciting, but also concerning events in the Middle East and North Africa, starting in Tunisia a couple of weeks ago, the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies has been working to support its national Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies on the ground to address uh, this situation. And let me give a few concrete examples of what this has meant. Let's look at Egypt where the Egyptian Red Crescent has been supported with some financial support to cater to some 10,000 people or so in need of medical aid, first aid uh, support. And we have had an advisor go in who has worked closely with the leadership of the Egyptian Red Crescent to understand better the situation and to help them provide an adequate humanitarian response. Let's look at Yemen, uh, where there are some 60 volunteers or so on standby again providing support to people affected in humanitarian terms who might have been wounded, who might have had to leave their homes for a while. So some 60 volunteers and we've been working for a number of years to equip these volunteers with necessary skills in first aid and other skills to be able to play their vital role now. Uh, let's look at Libya. Uh, the Libyan Red Crescent has for a number of years uh, been considered by us one of the strong uh, national societies, national organizations we have in the North Africa region. And even though communication is difficult, we all know internet and telephone are for the moment still cut largely, we have had reports out that volunteers and medical staff of the Libyan Red Crescent are mobilizing and are providing support as we speak uh, to affected people. We know that in some ways the events in Libya has been the most, have been the most dramatic in terms of effects on people's lives, uh, many people wounded and, and so on. So our Libyan Red Crescent volunteers and staff are in the thick of things providing to the best of their abilities and capacities uh, support, first aid support, medical aid to wounded and affected people. And then finally, still related to the Libyan situation, we have, uh, of course, like the rest of the world knows, uh, reports of refugees uh, leaving Libya and reaching both the Tunisian and the Egyptian border. And in both those countries, volunteers from the Egyptian and the Tunisian Red Crescent are on the border, uh, are looking at ways of supporting the arrival, uh, the best arrival of these refugees, looking at their first needs as they arrive as refugees. And uh, we as International Federation are again working closely with these so so two societies as we speak. We are mobilizing a team to per first go to Tunisia to discuss with the Tunisian Red Crescent what additional support may be needed to cope uh, again with the uh, uh, dramatic events and specifically the humanitarian uh, consequences of these events.